Now what we're going to do here is we're going to try and troll these front ledges for kingfish with our downrigger. Boat's just in gear, got to catch this squid now. Feel one of them. Here we go. Oh. Right, so what we're going to do now, we're just getting ready to start trolling. We're going to bait this squid up. Now I've only got a little hook, but don't be too worried about that. That'll definitely find its mark in a good sized fish. Now you've got to remember that trolling a squid is quite bulky. You've got to take him from the pointy end and pull him from that direction. So right from the hood, you simply go into the hood once and push through. Then using your fingernails, just make sure the hook goes right through the skin. And that's pretty well all there is to it. Now that might look like there's not a good chance of getting a hook up. But certainly, once you get the fish, take the bait. You don't have to free spool them, you just leave about a kilo of drag on the reel. Just let them take the line and the hook will eventually find its mark. And when you tighten up on the fish, it'll probably end up getting them somewhere around the lip or the corner of the mouth. You know, hopefully in the right in the top jaw too, be the best place possible. Now for anyone who's never used a downrigger, they're pretty simple. It's basically using this lead bomb with this clip that pinches your line on a big reel to get your bait down deep. The beauty about it is, is you can use it in either very strong current or while you're trolling. So I'm just going to let some line out off my reel here. Like I said, you want about 20 feet or so, which is the full length of my leader. I'll just simply clip the line into there. That's all there is to it. Now in this particular downrigger, most of them have got a line release system. This one's really easy to use because you simply wind backwards to release the line. And that's going down nicely. And if I want to stop, I simply push forwards. I've got a line counter there. It tells me I'm currently at 14 feet. Now here at Jarvis Bay, we want to be trolling in about 18 metres with the bait about three to four metres off the bottom. Now, it can be quite difficult because the, the bottom really does undulate a lot. You've got very steep drop-offs. But with these downriggers, having the line counter, keeping a close eye on your depth sounder, you can wind it up really quickly if you get yourself into danger before you get the bomb snagged. So let's give it a run. All right, we've been hit on a whole squid. Oh yeah, it's a good fish on the downrigger. Twenty-two meters of water. Just gonna take it easy on him now a bit. Oh god, he's gotta be getting close to that bottom. Just cannot turn his head. Come on. Oh, come on. Once you turn the head, just keep him coming. He'll be tired. Especially after that last run with this much drag. Now this is a problem. Now I've got to make the decision whether to keep winding him up or get the downrigger bomb up. So what I'm going to do, I'm get this fish right off the bottom. I'm going to try and get this downrigger up as quick as I can. Here it comes. Oh, and I'm over some serious reef here. Oh. Oh. Now, don't be deceived, these rods don't look very thick at all, but this will be the equivalent of a 50 pound jigging outfit. Got some serious drag on. I've got the orange back now. Fish has seen the boat. Oh, uh, yep, you can see him now. Yep, side. 
Oh. oh, yeah, good fish. Feel that hook right in the corner of his mouth. And this being about, I don't know, maybe 15 kilos. We don't normally keep really big kings, but this guy's just a nice medium size. It's gonna provide a fantastic meal, so Shane will be wrapped to see this when we get it back to Melbourne. That leader. That rod almost copped it in the neck then. Okay, now this is a beautiful Jarvis Bay kingfish. Probably around about the 30 pound size. Perfect for eating, especially in winter now. It's May, so water's a bit cooler than normal. And this fish won't have any worm or any parasites in its flesh. It should be absolutely beautiful eating.